Hello, my name is Benny, and in this video, we will learn how to query paginated resources from a REST API. In this tutorial, we will be querying the closing stock prices of Apple. Because it is a large data set, the API provides the results in batches, giving us a next URL to continue fetching more data. Let's check out the code example. As you can see, we have a URL address for the targeted REST endpoint we want to query. We've set a limit of 200 results per request for this REST endpoint. Additionally, we authorize the request using an API key from our environment variables. We will be using the experimental fetch API from Node.js 18 to get a JSON payload returned. The data structure is typed using response data in this context. When executing the code, it will log the amount of results and the URL that can be used to fetch additional results. When we start the program, you'll notice that it retrieves precisely 200 results along with the URL that acts as a pointer to our subsequent results. It works like a linked list, so we need to keep track of this pointer. In our case, it is called cursor, but some APIs also like to call it page. The first change we have to make is separating our data fetching logic into a dedicated function. By equipping it with an address parameter, we make it reusable. To implement the function, we'll move our original code into it, making it using the address param and returning the parsed response as JSON. We also need to declare our function as async in order to use a wait within it. For enhanced typing purposes, we'll specify a clear return type for the promise that holds our response data. Moving forward, we should set up variables to manage the next URL and the collected results. We begin by setting next URL to our starting URL. We have to keep in mind that it can become undefined in case there is no more additional data. As for our results, we'll create an empty array to which we'll gradually push more data. Thanks to TypeScript, we can conveniently reuse the typing of our results from the existing response data type using an index. This concept is termed a lookup type when you form a new type using the index of another type. With our placeholders in position, we can start fetching paginated data. Because we have an initial next URL, we can use a while loop. In some cases, you might want to use a do-while loop to guarantee that the loop body is executed at least once. Inside our while loop, we begin fetching payloads. We then push new data to our results array, and most importantly, update the next URL. When the next URL becomes undefined, our loop stops. We also need to update our console log statements to use our placeholder variables. It's time to execute the code. And there we go, 818 gathered results as we reach the final batch of data, pointed out by an undefined next URL. Congratulations. In just three simple steps, we learned how to turn the initial code into code that can fetch paginated responses from a REST API.